The 21st century has witnessed a new kind of arms race, the battle for semiconductor supremacy. This isn't just a competition for technological bragging rights, it's a struggle for economic dominance and national security. These tiny chips, the brains of everything from smartphones to supercomputers, have become the linchpin of global technological and economic power. They are the essential components that drive innovation in countless industries, from consumer electronics to advanced military systems. The United States, long the dominant player in this arena, has levied sanctions aimed at curbing China's technological rise, particularly in the semiconductor industry. These measures are part of a broader strategy to maintain its leadership in cutting-edge technologies and to protect its national interests. However, China's chip industry is not only surviving but thriving, sending shockwaves through global markets and raising concerns about a new world order. Chinese companies are rapidly advancing, investing heavily in research and development and forging new partnerships to secure their supply chains. The US imposed restrictions on exporting advanced chips and chip-making equipment to China, hoping to stifle the country's technological ambitions. These restrictions are designed to limit China's access to the most sophisticated technologies, which are crucial for developing next-generation applications. The goal was to maintain America's technological edge and prevent China from achieving breakthroughs in artificial intelligence and military applications. By controlling the flow of critical technologies, the US aims to slow down China's progress in these strategic areas. However, these sanctions seem to have had the opposite effect, fueling China's determination to become self-reliant in this critical sector. Chinese engineers and scientists are working tirelessly to innovate and overcome these barriers, accelerating their efforts to develop homegrown technologies and reduce dependence on foreign suppliers. The race for semiconductor supremacy is far from over, and its outcome will shape the future of global power dynamics. Despite the US sanctions, China's semiconductor industry has experienced explosive growth. Over the past few years, the country has made remarkable progress in this critical sector, defying expectations and overcoming numerous challenges. Chinese companies are rapidly expanding their market share in areas like memory chips, processors, and even the advanced lithography machines needed to produce cutting-edge chips. This expansion is not just limited to domestic markets, but is also making waves internationally. This surge is driven by a combination of factors, including massive government investment, a burgeoning domestic market, and a relentless focus on research and development. The Chinese government has been pouring billions of dollars into the semiconductor industry, aiming to achieve self-sufficiency and reduce dependency on foreign technology. China has made significant strides in developing its own chip design capabilities. Engineers and researchers are working tirelessly to innovate and create chips that can compete on a global scale. The focus is not just on quantity, but also on the quality and sophistication of the chips being produced. Companies like Huawei and Alibaba have poured resources into creating their own processors, reducing their reliance on US firms like Intel and Qualcomm. These tech giants are investing heavily in research and development, aiming to produce world-class processors that can power everything from smartphones to supercomputers. Moreover, China's sheer market size, with its billions of smartphone users and growing demand for electric vehicles and other electronics, provides a powerful incentive for domestic chip makers to innovate and compete. The consumer electronics market in China is one of the largest in the world, and this vast demand is driving rapid advancements in semiconductor technology. As a result, China is not just catching up, but is poised to become a leader in the global semiconductor industry. One of the most striking aspects of China's chip boom is its ability to overcome technological barriers. The US sanctions were specifically designed to prevent China from accessing the most advanced chip-making equipment, known as Extreme Ultraviolet EUV lithography machines. However, Chinese companies have made impressive progress in developing alternative technologies, such as Deep Ultraviolet DUV lithography, to produce sophisticated chips. Chinese scientists and engineers are also making breakthroughs in areas like chip packaging and material science further enhancing their ability to produce high-performance chips. This relentless pursuit of innovation is challenging the traditional dominance of US, Japanese and European companies in the semiconductor industry. The rise of China's semiconductor industry is having a profound impact on global tech giants.
including NVIDIA, a leading US chip maker specializing in graphics processing units or GPUs. NVIDIA has been at the forefront of GPU technology, driving advancements in gaming, artificial intelligence and data processing. NVIDIA recently reported a $5.5 billion loss, a significant financial hit that has sent shockwaves through the tech industry. This substantial loss is largely attributed to the US restrictions on chip exports to China, a policy aimed at curbing China's technological advancements. These restrictions have prevented NVIDIA from selling its high-end GPUs, which are critical components in data centers and artificial intelligence applications. These GPUs are essential for powering complex AI algorithms and large-scale data processing, making them highly sought after by Chinese tech companies. The US export controls are forcing us to make difficult choices, said Jensen Huang, CEO of NVIDIA. Huang emphasized the challenges posed by these restrictions, stating that they are losing significant revenue opportunities in China, one of their largest and most lucrative markets. The financial impact is not just a number, it represents lost opportunities and stunted growth. The Chinese market has been a major driver of NVIDIA's growth and losing access to it could have long-term repercussions. This loss underscores the high stakes involved in the chip war, where technological dominance and economic power are at play. The potential economic consequences for US companies caught in the crossfire are immense, highlighting the complex interplay between technology, politics and global business. Section 5. Global Ripples – Supply Chain Disruptions the semiconductor industry is highly globalized with companies around the world specializing in different stages of the complex chip making process. China's growing self-sufficiency in chips is causing disruptions to this intricate supply chain, leading to uncertainty and volatility in the global market as China produces more of its own chips, demand for foreign components is decreasing, impacting suppliers in countries like Taiwan, South Korea and Japan. This shift could lead to oversupply and price fluctuations, creating instability in the global semiconductor market. Moreover, China's dominance in certain raw materials used in chip manufacturing, such as rare earth elements, gives it significant leverage over the global supply chain. To Section 6, a new world order shifting geopolitics. The battle for semiconductor supremacy is not just about economics, it has profound geopolitical implications. Chips are seen as strategic assets, essential for national security and technological leadership. China's growing chip prowess is challenging the existing global order, raising concerns among Western powers about a shift in the balance of power. The chip war is a microcosm of the larger US-China rivalry, said a senior fellow at a Washington think tank. It's about who sets the rules, who controls the technology, and ultimately who shapes the future. The competition for chip dominance is intensifying geopolitical tensions, leading to a more fragmented and uncertain world. Section 7. The Future of Semiconductor Supremacy The semiconductor industry is at a crossroads. China's rise as a chip powerhouse is challenging the long-standing dominance of the United States and its allies. The outcome of this competition will have profound implications for the global economy, technological innovation and the balance of power in the 21st century. The United States is responding to the challenge by increasing its own investments in semiconductor research and manufacturing. The recently passed Chips and Science Act aims to boost domestic chip production and reduce reliance on foreign suppliers. However, it remains to be seen whether these efforts will be sufficient to maintain America's technological edge in the face of China's relentless pursuit of chip dominance. Section 8. The stakes are high economic and security implications. The stakes in the chip war are incredibly high. Semiconductors are now essential components of virtually every aspect of modern life, from communication and transportation to healthcare and defense. Control over this critical technology brings enormous economic and strategic advantages. The country that leads in semiconductor technology will be in a position to drive innovation, create jobs, and set the standards for the digital economy. Moreover, advanced chips are crucial for developing cutting-edge military applications, such as artificial intelligence-powered weapon systems and secure communication networks. The outcome of the chip war will have far-reaching consequences for global security and stability. Section 9 Conclusion – A New Era of Technological Competition The world is entering a new era of technological competition with China's semiconductor ambitions at the forefront. 
The US sanctions, while intended to slow down China's progress, have had the unintended consequence of accelerating its drive for self-sufficiency. The global semiconductor industry is undergoing a period of rapid transformation, characterized by shifting supply chains, geopolitical tensions, and a relentless pursuit of innovation. The outcome of this competition will shape the future of technology, the global economy, and the balance of power for decades to come.